How's it going everybody, Ben from Base Set Mule here, and in this video I'm going to be opening two booster boxes of Mancala's Gathering. We have Origin and we have Friends. This time around these are the so-called fat boxes you can see right here. Each booster pack contains 25 cards and there's only six booster packs in each box, but there is a promised super rare in each one. So that is kind of exciting. This is the redemption, this is the rematch. You know, previously I opened the blister boxes, which don't actually contain promised super rares. So I bought these ones. Also, the bot is like so reminiscent of Japanese booster boxes, just like all around. Really, really like this actually. Man, this goes into the empty booster box collection, which I already have way too much of. But still, here we are. Also have these pull tabs, it looks like just like the Japanese booster boxes do now and here as well so there we are let me flip this open here we go okay 25 cards in in one pack all right and here we are unfortunately I have to cover up Lily's face and then Professor Sycamore's face but there we are let's start with the origin first and see what we can find in here. There are gonna be a lot of commons, but I do expect since it's only like 12 packs in total, that the opening will go very, very fast. So I won't dawdle on these commons since there's there are so many that we have to go through. And just see if we can't pull anything. As I said, these packs or these booster boxes do actually contain a promised super rare just like your Japanese booster boxes as compared to the to the blister booster box that I opened a while ago of this set still had a still pulled in super rare believe it or not here is the Ferelligator. we have a Steelix we have a Gengar V and we have a reverse and another reverse so all of these commons and then you get your pulls at the end right at the end so Gengar on this side Right now, Origin is in the lead. Let's see if if the friend's side... If the friend's side can pull it back with another pull of, of, of their own. Let's see. So I've also talked about it in my, in my tin display opening. But I do plan on opening the new Japanese or Chinese set as well. Um, Brave Stars. I'm actually personally really excited about that set, and especially the gift box that I that I ordered. The Pearl and Diamond Clan gift box. That one looks absolutely amazing. Two cool booster boxes, a playmat. Okay, first pull is just a holographic. Second one is a Flareon. And then Vaporeon VMAX. Okay, so we actually got two pulls on the on the Nine Colors Gathering Friends site. So right now this site is in the lead. Although, as I said in the previous battle of these Chinese sets, it's kind of difficult to find a price on these, especially on these like normal ones. Once we do get a super rare, it will become a little bit easier to find prices. But still, for the most part though, Chinese cards are, are way cheaper than Japanese cards, which is, which is right the reason why I kind of like them that much. Because cards are actually still affordable. This is what it must have been like to buy Japanese cards and like products before everything went so crazy, before everyone wanted to open them. This is what it must have felt like. We have Sid right here, Latias, some gloves, a Flaffy, Scary Mama, Corviknight, and here is the first holographic with a Dragapult. Next up is the Latios. We have a Lycan Rock. We've pulled that one, I think, twice actually. And we have a Volt Hund or Bolt Hand. Okay, three pulls. Don't actually know the name. I might might be getting it wrong. Pretty sure it's it's Bolt Hunt, right? Okay, so here we are. Three pulls on the origin side. Right now, this side is in the lead again. I do like it though. For now, every single pack contained an actual pull. But I've opened these fat booster packs before. Not as many, but I've seen packs that didn't contain any pulls. So that's also a possibility. So far, neither side has given us a super rare. So it's still it's still exciting for now. 
to see which site will win meows right here personally i i really like chinese cards especially i've said it in every single opening even multiple times but chinese cards use the exact same texturing as japanese cards but they're so much more affordable which makes them so cool in my opinion and we are first hollow second hollow with the qrm got a zarina and we got gordy as our super rare on the origin or in the on the friend side okay so that is our super rare on that side the gordy super rare let me just put all the cards like kind of right here and then show off the gordy there we go if it would focus there we go look at that awesome texture pretty sure i've pulled this card before i don't remember from which set though but here we are that's our super rare now as is per usual this isn't really worth as much so the origin site still has a chance to pull it back we'll see what super rare we pull from from this site maybe it's in this pack right here maybe it's in this way skiddy i can't believe i keep forgetting the name of one of my favorite gen 3 pokemon it's just so gosh darn cute look at skiddy skiddy gets a special place like up here somewhere on marnie's face there we go skiddy gets a gets a special place there i really like skiddy so gosh darn cute let's see what else we have mccargo mccargo i've got a star you alesa pulled alesa before some walkie talkies should be should be reaching the first rare here there we go jump bluff we have a stormy we have a hoopa and no super rare for now just a hoopa let me put hoopa behind the mew on oh, behind the gengar okay so far only three packs on each side left as I said, the opening is going... No, it's actually four packs on each side left. Okay, was I wrong with six packs? I could have sworn there were only six packs in each booster box. But it might have been eight or something. It might have been eight or seven, I don't know. It's just not as many as you would normally get from, from these kinds of booster boxes. You have the Eevee. Unfortunately, there's no more super rare for, for this site. Or, although, maybe there is a way... Maybe there is a way where we get a second super rare. So I guess for this site, I won't be going as slow. Just pulling the cards off Raichu. We got a Sylveon. And two of our reverses. Sylveon goes up here. I don't know if there are trainer gallery cards in either of these sets. I don't think they are. Because they're essentially like um, EV heroes and fusion arts. And those talk, uh, sets didn't contain any Trina Gallery cards. But you never know what they might insert in these Chinese sets. Since they still have to catch up to us. Simplified Chinese, that is. Traditional Chinese had some other sets. This is most most notably is where the Lily is from that I bought a while ago. And actually read it in a, in a CGC Pristine 10. Which I've always thinking about. Yo, that's a really cool, really cool Arcanine illustration if it would focus. Yo, check this one out. This looks really, really nice. Alteria. I'm always... I, I've been debating. Should I crack it and regret it with BGS in the chance to get maybe a BGS black label? I don't know. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Because what if it... Well, if it doesn't get as a BGS black label, it, it most likely would get back as a BGS 10. Which is, I think, just as good as the CGC Pristine 10. But I do prefer the label of the Pristine 10. So, if it comes back just a normal BGS 10, I, my personal, personal preference, I would have to crack it and send it into CGC again. And then what if the grader has a bad day and just gives it a normal 10? Right. Even though it was a Pristine 10 previously. That's why I kind of don't want to send it to BGS. And either way... I can't send it into BGS myself. I would have to use a middleman. Even though there is a, um, a very trusted middleman here in Germany. But, you know, we'll see. But probably not. Probably won't send it into BGS. Let's see. 
Galarian Moltres. We have the Glaceon. And we have the Jolteon. Okay. All right. So far, no super rare on the Origin side. We only have two packs left. It's really taking its time this time around. Maybe it's in the last pack. Maybe it's in this one. We shall see. We shall see if it's in this one. I'm still, as I said it in the last opening, in my um, tin display opening, I would really love to pull, like, the Mew VMAX. Of course, that's like the big card you can pull on this one. Of course you would want to pull that one. But I really want to pull it just to compare the textures of English versus Japanese textures. And also, it would be so cool to have that one. Professor Burnett. Let's see. Maybe we're lucky in this one. Maybe. I've got a Thievel. We've got a Salamence. We've got a... Uh, Melmetal, there we go. We've got a Mew V, okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And we've got- what the frick? I pulled a laser again! What are the odds? What are the odds of pulling a laser twice in this opening? Are you s- well, not twice in this opening, but twice from Chinese packs. Okay, I'm really happy about the Mew. That is really cool. The Elisa, I guess we pulled two trainers. And I can already tell that the Elisa is, li is a little bit more than the Gordy. But what are the odds? Oh, hang on. Okay, so here's the one that I previously opened from my um, blisters. And here's the one I just pulled. Um, this isn't, isn't on the only versions that I have. I do actually have a Japanese version, which is like sitting up on my wall in a CGC 10. Uh, I guess I'll send these two into grading anyways. Okay, what are the odds though? What are the odds? Wow, okay, of all cards to pull. Okay, we still have our three booster packs in total left. But since both super rares are gone, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently for these ones, since, you know, these are just commons. Let me just do the quick opening here for the rest of them. Don't have to go through every single common anymore. Probably should have done that previously with, with the friend side at least. And then we're just gonna flip over the potential pulls. Eldegoss, we got the Yalga. We've got an Umbreon, that's cool. And two of our, our reverses. Umbreon goes here. And then we open this last pack right here. We do the exact same as we just done. We do like a few cards up here, put them to the side. And then we just show off the commons. You know, you've probably seen Sinia, really good. Sinia would have been a cool full art, honestly. Sinia would have been a cool full art. Even though I've already pulled her in, in English, or I already have her in English, that would have been a cool a cool full art. Scary Mama, Feraligator, got a tree, we got a Chandelure, and we got two of our reverses. Chandelure, there we go. So those are our last two pulls on, on this side. And then we have one last pack left. Unfortunately, there's no more. Can we end it with a super rare or something? Because we already pulled ours. So let me do that much right there. And then show off the commons. I mean, if you've opened Evolving Skies, you would have seen these already. Or EV Heroes, same thing. And then let's see what, what kind of... If we can pull another V card, there we go. Let's see, Swampert. Yeah, we can. The Leafeon. Nice. Okay, so we ended with a Leafeon as well. All right, and this is what we ended up with on each side. Actually, equal pulling rates. I mean, it is it is a sealed booster box, and it's like a proper booster box, so you should expect the same pull rates. And it's actually surprising how many evolutions we got from, from just one um, booster box. Which one are we missing? We have Glaceon, Sylveon... Flareon, Jolteon, um, we're missing, um, Espion, we're missing Espion on this side. And our super rare was the Gordy. And over here, we pulled a Mew V, which I'm really, really happy about. And we pulled the Elisa again. But in terms of value, as I said, it's really hard to tell with these Chinese cards. Um, so I'm just going to go by my gut feeling and say this is side one, just because the Elisa is probably more than a Gordy. If I, if I said anything wrong, I will put it like somewhere up on the screen. But if I didn't say anything wrong and this side did in fact win, then there you go. Still really cool opening. And this time around with the promised super rares. All in all though, 
it was a really successful opening. And if you enjoyed this one, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.